Kathy over here. What we're waiting for is the ducks to come from. Welcome back to another one, guys. We are up early this morning. It's earlier than I usually get up. However, we're trying to get an early start on the ducks. First things first, we need coffee. Alright guys, sun is up. Oh, we got some moving down there. Sorry, sun is up. As you can see over here. What we're waiting for is the ducks to come from down there. The, every night there's hundreds of them, if not thousands, that land down there. Now we got permission to hunt down there, but I'm not obviously not there this morning. So we're just sitting here. It's a nice morning. Hopefully something starts flying soon. Again, this is a flyby. They're not going to stop here. This is a flyby. So you better be on your A-game. Hopefully I brought my A-game. We're going to find out. There's so many blackbirds flying around here. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's what. We grow those things big here in Ontario. I'm busy watching them. You watch the ducks will fly by when I'm watching them. Even if I don't shoot anything this morning, it's pretty hard to complain about this. Pretty hard. Last weekend, Tyler and I were out here hunting. Driving rainstorm. It was miserable sitting here in a blind. We got soaked. It was windy. It was raining. Uh, there's a kayak underneath the blind here, and we use it to go get the ducks that are out in the water because we don't have a dog. I've been in a kayak before. Tyler has not. He, for some reason, thought it was a good idea to try his first time in a kayak in a rainstorm. Here, have a look. All right, guys, we made it out to the blind. Uh, it is pouring rain out here. Have a look. That's Tyler. Way down there. <laughs> Thought he'd try a kayak for the first time. It's uh, 5 degrees Celsius. He's got one already, but it's 5 degrees Celsius. Pouring rain. Oh, well, there he is coming back. He made it down to the bend before he decided to turn around and come back. Like once you round that bend down there, the wind is so bad, you're not going to make any headway against it. So... Probably gonna go uh, help him get out of the kayak before he ends up all wet. So he made it quite a ways down to the bend down there before the wind kept blowing him all over the place. He decided to come back. He didn't tip it. That's a good thing because it would have been cold. But uh, he found out that a kayak isn't as easy as you think it is. Now this one here is only an eight foot. Uh, the one I had was a 10, which was a lot better. You could stand up in it. But he did all right. Now we just need these guys to start flying. Anytime, boys, anytime. It's pretty cool to come out here in the dark and then you watch these creeks come alive with the birds. You see the fish jumping. In the summertime, the turtles are going by. Not so much on the turtles right now because it's uh, a little cool. About uh, 10 degrees this morning Celsius. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We live in a pretty unique area. All the fishing and hunting that anyone could ever want, and just about any species you could want, is right here. Very lucky. Very lucky. Finally. Finally. Oh, they're a little ways out. Too high, too far. At least we saw some. That's the first two of the morning, but they uh, swung a little high and wide on the corner here. They've obviously been poked at from here. Hopefully some more get up down there. Now, it might have been hard to tell on camera, but like I said, those were high and wide. I probably could have took one. However, on the other side over there, that's all standing corn. I don't want to shoot a bird. And then lose it in the corn that kind of defeats the purpose so i want to take one where i know it's going to land fairly close so i have an opportunity to get it as opposed to just flat out lose it
There we see Gus way over there taking his corn off. I think it's him. If any of you are new to our channel, welcome. Uh, one thing you're going to find here, when I'm fishing or I'm hunting, whether I get anything or not, you're going to see it. A lot of times on a lot of episodes, guys will take two or three days to fill a limit and then put an episode out. I try to keep things real. Sometimes I get something, sometimes I don't. In fact, it really doesn't matter. For me, that's all about being right here. Well, that's gonna be it for the morning hunt. Nothing. We are done, time to head to the truck. All right, well, things didn't go too well, as you can see. Here's my hypothesis. Is that a word? Hypothesis? Doesn't matter. Every year, I make myself a new duck call. This year, I didn't. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm not seeing the ducks because I didn't make a new duck call. So, this was last year's call. Very nice call. <coughs> nice and nice. Find your words. Nice and raspy, just like I like it. Going up on the lathe here right now. I already got chewed up on both ends. I got it leveled out. We're going to make a new call. Um, I kind of, I'm somewhat partial to the two-piece calls. And, well, let me just kind of show you something. Here. Hopefully you can all see that. That's probably a little bit better. This is a light colored wood. I've got another end here with a black band on it. We're going to put this on there. We're going to shape this, glue this on, and get us a new duck call. It's got to be the problem, right? We're going with that. It's not me. It's not the spot. The spot's got a ton of ducks. We always see a ton of ducks. So it's not me. It's not the spot. It's got to be the call. That's what we're going with. So stick with me. I'm going to speed this up so I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to talk through it. I'm just going to speed it up so that you can see how it gets shaped up as we go. And then we'll try it out at the end. Well, <clears throat> all right, so here we are. This is the one piece, the other piece, kind of smaller, a little different design. It's, it's considerably smaller than this one here, which is kind of what I'm going for. This gets glued onto here and then gets pressed down tight. See, just like that. But this whole thing's got to be sanded yet. Then I take my insert. 
Keep in mind this go this call is not finished yet. It's a double reed insert. Slide that in there like that. I might stain this, I might not. We'll see. Is this gonna do the trick? We'll find out. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of this. I'm gonna sand this up. Next time out, I'll show you the finished product, but that's how easy it is. This whole thing took me about 15 minutes. I know I shortened it down, but this has got to be it. It ain't the spot. Ain't? Ain't? Is that English? We're going with it. That ain't the spot. It ain't the hunter. It's got to be the call. I broke tradition and didn't make a new call. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you all enjoyed watching me make a call. I like making them. They are quite a mess, so I don't do it very often, but that's it. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along, and thanks for being a part of our channel. See you all in the next one. Later. Oh, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Nothing better than watching the sun rise over the marsh. <laughs>